What's up? Welcome to another Raid Shadow Legends video. Today we got the Shadow Can Faction Crips Part 4. So I'm getting Gentoro leveled up to level 60. We're running out of time. I'm using a barrel. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Holy crap, we gotta go. All right. So we got Gentoro leveled up. Man, it took me forever. It took almost the whole time. It's crazy. Let's go. We got 12 minutes left. We've got to knock this out. We're running out of time. We got stage 20. Here we go. Four keys. All right. Let's take out Chani. Let's throw in Gentoro. Here we go. Hopefully it's quick. Hopefully it's quick. So we're going to see what Gentoro can do here. Got Kaioku in the lead. Lady Kimmy, Gamoran, Ninja, and Gentoro, my newest addition to the team. So I was lucky enough to get him. I just pulled 10 and bam, he was there. So, I mean, like, I wasn't expecting him. I wasn't even expecting him to be in this video. I wasn't expecting to use him or get him or anything like that. Just boom, he just appeared. So here we go. Gentoro is not exactly hitting too hard. I think his gear is basically around level 12-ish. Could definitely be higher. Uh, but, you know, like I said, we're running out of time. We're running out of silver. We're running out of everything. We got him ready. He's here. So hopefully we can knock this out. Looking good so far. Looking good so far. Blocking active skills. Taking the buffs off. Putting block buffs, debuff on. The AE freeze is clutch. Yeah, we're doing some nice damage here, making some nice time. Got one minute on the first wave. Looking like this is not going to be too hard to get through. Koku's obviously a beast. Now, Koku, last time, was around like level 12-ish, 13-ish gear. Now we got her up to a lot of 16s. So we're going to see her full potential almost in a locked tier. All right, so we got the Shiramani wave. Decent damage here. AE freeze is clutch, like I said. So Gentoro definitely could be hitting a little bit harder. But we'll have to see how he's doing like on the boss on the next level, stage 21. See if he can really like a little bit and get that A3 to come through with the five time attack. Koku, she can hit four times when she has four or more debuffs on the target. Places that weaken, which is really nice. All right, here we go. We got the Rosh cards, we got Aothars. Hopefully, we can lock them down. Lady Kimmy should be able to strip that buff if they put it on. And then put the block debuffs, block buff debuff on. We do have, I'll have to go with the gear after we're done with this uh, faction crypt here. But Gentoro does have some um, counterattack gear on him. So he can do some counterattacks, get a little more extra damage in there. Gamoran, I really love Gamoran here, man. Need to get the block active skills though, see? Too late. A little bit too late. But maybe we can remove the buff, put on the block Buffs debuff, like I was saying with Lady Kimmy. See how it works out. Got the AE freeze. Good there. All right, so one more turn and Lady Kimmy should be able to strip the buff. Come on, Lady Kimmy. There we go. There we go. All right, we got the block active skills. Everything's looking good. Be a wrap now. It's a pretty easy one. Three and a half minutes. Could have been a little faster. We'll have to get the DPS up for sure. But uh, really no worries as far as the defensive side of things go. Uh, Kaoku in the lead is really, really beneficial. So, I mean, if you have Kaoku in the lead, you already know what I'm talking about. If you don't, um, I'm not sure exactly who you're using for a lead. But I'm sure it's a lot harder without her as a lead. We got Kaoku here with 342,000 damage. Gamoran, 116,000. Lady Kimmy with 150. Ninja doing the majority of the damage here with 540,000. Gentoro looking kind of weak here with the 130. We'll see if that uh, translates to the next level. Okay, here we go. All right, so as far as this fight goes for the first time, we're going to keep the same team. And if we lack damage with Gentoro here, we'll swap him out and put in some... 
one else, maybe Gory, Obero. Okay, before I get started, let's check out the boss. The boss is the red boss here. So the boss guide attacks one enemy on the A1 ephemeral impalement. Will ignore target's defense. Damage based on enemy max HP and attack. That hits hard. He's a hard, hard hitter. We have a hard time staying alive. Removes all debuffs from this champion. Places a true fear debuff on a random enemy for one turn. Places a stun debuff on all enemies except that enemy for one turn. These debuffs cannot be resisted. Grants an extra turn. Then we have the passives. Unremitting. Fills this champion's turn meter by 2% for every 1% of HP they lose when attacked. This is counted from the damage taken per hit. And he's immune to all the regular stuff they're all immune to. So here we go. Running out of time. We only have seven minutes. Good. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to finish this, to be honest. Man, it took too long to level up uh, Gentoro here, and he wasn't even that beneficial. Like, his attack and damage in the last uh, round was kind of weak. But uh, I'm not going to hold it against him. If I uh, can't complete it this time, we'll make sure we get it done next time. It really was just a matter of... I haven't even tried it. I was just trying to get this guy leveled up, like, ASAP. And, uh... Getting him leveled up just means taking a lot of extra time, going through the levels, burning the energy, doing that kind of stuff. So we weren't even able to get him to basically the six star until right before the faction crypt opened. So let's go ahead and take out Vrask now. And then we'll work on probably Draco. This way he can't heal. Even blocking the skills doesn't change that. He hits you and he's going to heal. Looking good, looking good. As soon as we kill this guy here, he's going to revive himself. And Toro already down? Wow. All right, so we're going to have to bring back Gentoro. All we got to do is kill somebody, and he should be back up. But that's uh, kind of sad. All right, so we got five more minutes to finish this. I'm not sure if we're actually going to get it done, man, to be honest. Running out of time here. And if I can't get this one done, we'll probably run back the other one here. Be with a different team, use a couple different DPS or something. Going to take out Steel Skull here. I should have not waited this long. You know, honestly, I should have just uh, skipped Gentoro for this round and maybe leveled him up for next round or something, but... uh. I probably should have just went ahead and did the faction stage 20 and 21 with uh, enough time to actually complete it because this is going to be looking real tight, man. Real tight. We're going to have to one-shot it or we're done. Get the Man-Eater. Uh, lock down his skills before he starts uh, putting the unkillable buff on everybody. There we go, Gamer. And lock him up. Okay, now let's go get... Um, no rog next. There we go. Locked his skills up. All right, this should be a wrap now. Go ahead and get Draco Morph. Yeah, Gentoro's is not hitting very hard with the current setup. I have him in Relentless Gear, and I believe. Rule gear, so we'll have to try something else. We'll just have to get it leveled up. Maybe you have to switch the stats up a little bit. Something. He's kind of hitting a little light at the moment. Oh, you know what? We could uh, add his uh, masteries in as well. I don't think I did that. All right, we're just going to focus on the boss. That big damage. Here we go, Kaoku. Put on the ally protection. She has the block damage buff on. Got the true fear. We got the stuns. We're going to be locked up for that one. If we lose one person, we'll be okay, because if we kill this guy, we'll bring back the person. But if we lose more than one, we will not be okay. That's not going to work out too well. Or with the counterattack. We have the weaken on. We don't have the decreased defense, though. So maybe Ninja can get that on with the A1. Got the buff back on again. The ally protection is here. Nice. Lived through that attack, actually. Very nice. Very surprised by that, actually. His HP so low. Okay, we got the decreased defense on now. This might be a wrap. 
Let's go. Yes, let's go. One shot. First try. Okay. Let's take a look at the defense. Let's take a look at the HPs, the healing, the damage. Oh, man. What's up? Koku, 400,000 damage. She's a beast, man. She might be a tank, but she does damage. She, puts, she does work. Puts in damage. 123,000. She's a guardian set. She, she does heal herself. 10% HPs per turn. We have Gamoran here with the big heal. 650,000. 40,000 damage. Not so much there. He's a big support guy. Lady Kimmy, 206,000 damage. Ninja, 800,000 damage. He's our big damage dealer. Jintoro, better than last round. Not as good as I expected, though. A little light. 240,000 is kind of light. Okay, let's go ahead and do stage 20 one more time. Yeah, we're going to do stage 20, but with different DPS this time. Let's go ahead and swap out. Uh, let's go bring Obero and Chani. All right, so I don't know if the DPS is going to go up. It's going to go down. We'll see. We're definitely a little bit different. Different kits on these ones. Obero can actually hit everybody, but she needs to hit somebody who has four or more debuffs on with the A1. So it's going to be a little tricky. We'll have to, you know, hit this one right here. Get some more debuffs on the rest of them. So I brought Chani instead of someone like Gori. I was going to bring Gori, but I was like, you know, I'd prefer to get more debuffs on. There we go. See, there we go with the A1 and attacks all. Got that weird conditional attack. Locked up the skills. Let's go ahead and finish off this one over here. Actually, I should have attacked the other one. All right, here we go. Finish off the last one. Move on to the next round. We already got the reset, so we're pretty much done with this faction crypt. I wish I had had a little more time, and then I could have... You know, actually, I should have probably done these uh, stage 20 a little sooner without Jin Toro. Done it with some epics. Then finished it off with a Jintoro later. Uh, really ran out of time, man. Jintoro really uh, pushed me to the limit. So, man, I kind of regret how it went down a little bit, but it's okay. Okay, not worried about it. Feeling blessed though. We actually knocked it out in the first try, and all of them like that was like definitely pretty awesome. Just got to make sure we actually win this one. <laughs> Looking a little sketchy the moment all right so if we kill one person we'll bring back obero we'll be good good knock out this one right here there we go all right so we're back in business again so far everything's looking pretty good Been a little bit better if we could have got the heal off after we brought back obero but that's okay Get the heal off again here soon. Gamoran's ability to lock down the skills is really nice. Really, really nice. I don't care if he's not doing a lot of damage. He's actually doing a lot of help with the support rolls. We got the block revive. Definitely has applications. Definitely has applications. Honestly, he was kind of key to, you know, getting that three-star in that 21, stage 21. We had Jintoro's defense, you know, HP's up a little bit. It probably wouldn't have been a problem, but, you know. Since someone did drop, that revive was definitely clutch. Kind of wishing, though, I would just, like, leveled up Jintoro next time, though, because uh, I could have probably used those five chickens on someone, like, really nice that could help me with Hydra or something for... You know, this run, this week. That's okay. Decisions, decisions. We got to make the decisions we make. Go ahead and take out Aothar because we got the block damage up over there. Lady Kimmy's probably going to strip the buff on the next one. All right, so we've proven, you know, Chani works, Obero works. Same setup. Maybe next time 
the auto can comes out we'll swap the rolls around a little bit use a different lead maybe use like a offensive lead uh, swap kaoku out for like a different tank like taragi the frog try some different things make some different videos show you guys some different stuff check out the damage here we got kaoku in the lead man not just a tank a serious damage dealer gamaran 150,000. lady kimmy with 250,000 rounded up obero 250,000 rounded up Tani, still a major damage dealer for this faction, 383,000. Tani is surprisingly nice damage dealer here because I would expect Obero to do more damage, but it's Chani who's over here putting in the work. Go over the Shadowkin faction real quick to show you guys what we're working with before uh, I end the video. Yoshi the Drunkard was not able to make it into a video because of the gear situation here. Now, maybe next week when it reopens, I will change that. I definitely want to get him into some videos and try like his kit out and show you guys what he can do. Ninja, a little bit better off than he was previously. Kind of getting back up to all 16s. We have Lady Kimmy. Same as before, really no changes. Gentoro, like I said before, he's got the 13s here. Uh, it wasn't like 12 earlier. We never got around to getting the accessories back up, so I just swapped in some new ones. I just ascended him up. I mean, like literally... He was getting ready to go right as the video like started and we were running out of time. So never even put a banner on him. We've got a lot of stuff to do. Masteries, like he was not near top flight condition at all. So some of those low numbers put it on me for not building to do correctly because I ran out of time. I didn't have enough time to even get him proper. You know what I'm saying? We'll get him proper next time and show him off right. Gamoran did get some improvements from last time. He was rocking a lot of 12s. So now he's rocking a couple 13s. Now, Kaioku was the one who got a nice big upgrade from last time. She's up to 15s and 16s now, where she was at some 12s before. So she's beast mode. Look, power is only 36,000. I feel that's kind of light as far as uh, my characters go. But when she gets up to, like, say, 48, 50,000, like some of these other ones, 60,000 even, boy, she's going to be a monster. And I can't wait to get six-star items on her because she's over here rocking all these fives. It ain't right. It ain't right. Okay, Obero, 12s. All 12s across the board. Chani, might be a big difference in the damage, you know, is the, the difference in the gear. Lots of 16s here versus lots of 12s here. Now, Gori, definitely kitted a little bit better. Um, Ginzen, not enough chickens to really make an impact in these videos. And same with the uh, Ginbo and the gear. Not enough chickens, not enough gear to really get them into the videos. So in the future, maybe I can get Taragi the Frog leveled up, try him out. We can get some Gimbo the Dishonored in there. We get uh, Yoshi the Drunkard. But that's the kits on them, on them at the moment. Like, some of these dudes are not leveled up. We don't have their books. You know, they're not booked. A couple of these guys are booked. Ninja's booked, for example. I think Lady Kimmy's booked. Um, but Jin Toro's not. Um, Aoku, I think, is. Yeah, Koku's booked up. Okay, she's good. Um, a lot of the, the epics, though, are booked up. Chani's booked. Obero is booked. Uh, Gori, I'm pretty sure, is booked or half booked at least. Yeah, I booked him up last time. And then we have, um, you know, a lot of these other guys as well. So we got to get some books on Taragi. Now, some of these other guys, like Taragi, they're the ones that are lacking. Hatatsu, uh, Masamoto, Jirojin, Konaru. So... These guys, you saw some in the earlier videos. Maybe we can level them up and get them in some of the later stages. Show them off a little bit better, too. So that's it for today's video. Hope you guys liked the video. You guys have a great weekend. I'll see you guys in the next one. We'll definitely run some more Shadow Crypt, and we'll definitely get some more videos out using these characters. You guys, take care. Have a great day. Peace.